Everybody is going ape shit crazy over banana maple French toast. But y'all don't know, this is my new baby right here. Sprinkle cupcakes with real sprinkles. We made sprinkles. And they're in there. And they're fucking delicious. Stick around through the whole video. I'm gonna give you a little something, all right? All right, so back day. I'm with the crew, with the squad. We got Sim, we got Big Rob, and we starting with the best exercise for back. Listen, this exercise is something you should be doing every day regardless. Pull-ups, all right? Get your mind right, baby. Pre-exhaust the back, and you're getting a nice stretch. I don't want to hear nonsense about you too big to do pull-ups. Rob 260 and do pull-ups, so no excuses. People just can't do it because they don't do them. That's why. They don't want to look bad. I agree. You gotta warm it up. Usually we do a one-arm row. Um, I don't like doing it personally because for some reason I can't breathe when I'm doing it. It's weird. But when I'm also, yeah. yeah. It's like the way my lungs is. Yeah, right. You sit there. But another thing, it just takes so fucking long. So I'm like, fuck yeah, it. That's too long. I love it. I love yeah, it's good though. It works. But I'm like, fuck it. I'll do two arm rows. Um, it feels a lot harder to me, but I like it. A lot of stabilizers are being worked. You got to keep your body from not falling from other side, so. I like single because you can go heavier. But this is, it's gonna be good too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's start with some 60s, moderately light. Yeah, I just started at 60s. Another benefit to doing them with dumbbells is you have a neutral grip. This grip and this grip really fucks up your biceps, your shoulders, you go all the way up into your shoulders. So this is a natural, you, you, you stand like this. So it's just more of a natural grip. So a neutral grip, you'll, you'll find that over time, all this hard training, you start feeling little aches and pains. So you gotta figure out how to make certain adjustments so you don't feel that shit no more. And that's one that I've, I've adapted, adopted. So we drove up to like 85s, or 80s actually. It's 
my shit right here. Huh? It was, it was uh, Future. Future, his shit be dope, but in concert, he sucks. Oh, yeah. Oh. Future. Yeah. In concert, because he always come out on Drake sets. Yeah. Drake be bringing that energy. Yeah. And Future come out just being cool. Yeah. Oh, but he just be like, bro, this is boring. <laughs> but Drake fucking. I got so much more respect for Drake watching his live show. I've only been to two concerts in my entire life. Really? Yeah. What? One was Drake. I've just never put out in Drake. And then, uh, Ulysses, Ulysses, yeah, Ulysses invited me to, uh, uh, what's the one? Asha. So mm. I went with him to Asha. And so it was me and Shan and him as well. And I was like, oh shit, this is good. This is dope, yeah. Yeah, and then, um, I, Especially I, one you of my other ways invited me to go to a Drake one. Uh -huh. so after going to that one, I was like, yeah, this might be cool. Right. right there, and it was dope, right. Yeah, Killed man. It. Drake puts on a hell of a show, but you know who puts on the best show ever? I haven't had the ch chance to see him, but people who I trust, they was like, yo, this shit was life changing. It's kind of, yeah. Oh, snap, yeah. And if you look up any of his, his uh, concert footage on YouTube, you'll see, it's amazing, but you see the comments. People are like, I cried. It's changed my life. It's crazy how music can bring that kind of fucking emotion out of people, you know what I mean? Yeah. And the visuals and everything with it. It's dope. Move up to the hundos. Motherfucker heavy. Come on, Sam. Eat your food, baby. Let's eat. It's eating time. You all day. Come on. All day. Easy. Easy. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Easy fucking money, baby. I gotta peel out like my brother Sam. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm trying to get. Gotta, gotta peel out. <laughs> gotta shred my shell. Yo, I seen a uh, this documentary. <laughs> I watched so many documentaries. It was like underwater shit. And the crab, it was like the crab. It showed them come out their shell. Oh man, it looks so fucking pitiful. They come out they shell, bro. Oh, <laughs> and they gotta grow a new one. And they're vulnerable because they can get eaten. But they look so weak and soft and mushy. Don't be soft and mushy. Uh-uh.
starting out. And like, they, don't, they can't see their back growing, they can't see their legs growing. One tip. One tip. Well, my thing is do pull ups every day. Every day. I had, I don't know if you remember this, Rob. One time at, at Metro, I would have everybody wanted to work out, whatever. I'm like, all right, today we're going to do 300 pull ups. So it could take all day, it don't matter, because we were in the gym all day. But y'all can pick a realistic goal like 50 pull ups or 60 or 100, right? And what you do is just your workout will be trying to get 100 pull ups. So you do as many as you can until you got to take a break and just keep going. You're building up strength. Your back will adapt and the adaptation will it getting bigger. It's going to happen. It's not a way for it not to happen. And pull ups is something that you could do every day. Listen, I want people to get out the mind state of you can only train each body part once a week. That is a fallacy. It is a fallacy. Our bodies adapt to whatever stress we put upon it. If you condition yourself to train a body part three times a week, it'll grow like that. Trust me. Okay. Uh, with my tip, but I have to match that tip because it's like a foundation that we pretty much started with. Foundation. So for, I was going to actually start talking about, you know, you're doing your pull downs and, and rolls for fitness, etc. But I, I really need to touch on the basics because that's what we all started with pull ups. I did pull ups at the beginning all, all day. <laughs> yeah. You know, so I, I started off my, um, after training at home five years, I was in the gym as a PT. So I was in the gym all day. Well, literally, if I'm walking past the pull up um, bar, you got to hit them. Quick 10. Quick 15, you know? Yep. And that used to, be, used to be the thing. And obviously, when I started, let me tell you, I did not have any lats, no back. I was like, Wait, where's my back, man? Like you said, you gotta keep doing it, keep doing it, be consistent with it, and it will grow, man. But yeah, just don't ever lose pull ups. Don't ever lose that. Always do it. Yep. Yeah. You got anything, bro? I said the same thing pull ups. Pull ups was the first thing I ever started with in the backyard. Pull ups is the best. It gets the back wide, too, so keep doing those pull ups. take more than just lifting the weights. You got to be eating right as well to fuel the muscle, but also eating fairly clean so that you can see the muscle. That's why you can see everything on Simeon. <laughs> Anatomy chart, that's what you want. If you're, a lot of people talking about bulking and dirty bulking, get that shit out of there, that's getting fat. You eat properly, eat clean, eat healthy.
build a self because I'm looking up to you. Come on, 50. With that being said, you're 50. What's up? Guys, I'm looking up to you. Come on. This ain't nothing. Come on. Yeah, we put ourselves in a difficult situation. Come on, let's go. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Don't stop. Get Come on, man. Come on, man. Five, right. four, three, two, one. Yes, that's it. Come on, let's go. Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Yes. All day, baby. All day. All day. We're going to go. All day, we go. All day, that's it. All day, we go. All day, that's it. Woo! Go. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. It might be easy to be looking at this and be like, oh, I could do that. But once you feel how it feels, it's different. The, work, the workload, the amount, the, the, num the pound of weights, the amount of reps we're doing, it, looks, it feels a lot different than it looks. I've had so many people come train with us, whatever, by session, whatever, and will throw up on the first exercise. Like the third set, they're like, I can't do this. Headaches and all of this shit. We've conditioned ourselves to this kind of training. You know what I mean? And people, when you see us, it shows. But it ain't just a look, we actually get busy. This ain't normal shit. The normal shit is lap, lap pull down, some cable rows, and maybe some barbell rows, and that's it. You know? So we're going above and beyond, but that's what y'all gotta do. Especially the beginners. Beginners, you gotta work your, you gotta do every, when you're a beginner lifter, do all the back exercises. All the chest exercise, all the leg exercise. You gotta do everything you can to build as much muscle as you can. When you get older and you keep developing all this muscle, you can do less. You know what I mean? But you gotta get to that point. All right? Yeah, no. All I'm gonna say, guys, is what you just saw there, like, like I said, sometimes we call out this stuff. I know it's gonna be crazy, but I know that I'm gonna do it, he's gonna do it, he's gonna push me for it, I'm gonna push him for it. So that's what you need, you know, that, 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 that you need, first you need to, to take the step and go for something like that, get uncomfortable, and then you just need good people around you that's ready to work just as hard and ready to motivate you through your sets, man. So, you know, if you can find a good training partner, that can be fantastic, you know, otherwise, do it on your own. I, I trained on my own for years, you know, you can do it. You know? and, and honestly, for the most part, we all still train on our own most of the time. Yeah. We get together a couple times out of the week because we got busy schedules, but if it was up to me, we'd be training together every day. Yeah, yeah. But we all have busy schedules, it's the real world. But if you don't got somebody, you got us. Yeah. Just when you're doing the fucking sets, just imagine me, Sim, or Rob, or CT, or somebody over you like, nah, motherfucker, you ain't stopping. When your fucking homies, like us, care about you, we ain't gonna let you quit. I know we're twisted. We see when you tag us, you know, you tag us saying, yo, Sim, trying this out. We see it, you know, and every now and then we try to repost it on stories, etc. So keep doing that, man. Keep doing that, anyway. We're gonna we keep going. We love y'all, man. Much love. See y'all next time.